Seti Nuclear Services, we're an EPC contractor. And although the, the name suggests nuclear and is sure to be our roots of the business, we've diversified over many years into other forms of power generation. On the green economy side, when it comes to pollutants, greenhouse gas emissions, we certainly play a key role in helping reduce those emissions by integrating different solutions when it comes to flue gas desulfurization, when it comes to fabric filters, electrostatic precipitators, and essentially technology that's required to help reduce emissions, whether it be with thermal plants, gas plants, or within the mining market portfolio, there's definitely opportunities for us to help reduce the emissions through either efficiency improvements, or alternatively, in reducing the emissions of a particular uh, pollutant. On the nuclear portfolio, nuclear projects is certainly a key focus for the reduction of CO2 and greenhouse gas emissions. And we've been a major contractor at the nuclear power station here in South Africa to do modifications and upgrades and currently busy with the plant life extension for a further 20 years for the energy to supply into our market here in South Africa. But also internationally, we've been doing maintenance work in nuclear plants around the world. And again, for the sustainability of those markets to reduce emissions with the continuation of the nuclear portfolio. And one would see as a result of the war in the Ukraine currently, there's been a massive shift in the focus on energy security globally. And we're seeing a, a renaissance in the nuclear markets around the world, which is another key focus for the green economy in our view. There's also renewable projects that we're involved in, mostly hybrid systems, so the integration of solar plus batteries, potentially with wind, but also the nature of clients that we've got in the industrial space, often there's processes that they need to continue running for a period of time. And with those 24-hour operations, we need to ensure that at sustainable solutions that, yes, can include renewables, but one needs to look commercially whether it's feasible to uh, have those solutions for those clients to help them improve the performance of their plants, in essence, uh, contributing to the green economy, or alternatively, reducing emissions and deviating away from, let's say, coal and gas to other forms of fuel. And by way of example, we've historically participated in the South African Integrated Resource Plan in bidding on biomass projects. And those biomass projects utilize typically tops and trash from the sugarcane portfolio to use that fuel, or alternatively wood chips that we've used for fuel for projects. Those are key areas that not only that it can supply power to the, the market, but also economically with supply chains that are triggered with fuel, let's say, for biomass, or in the context of waste to energy, which is another portfolio we're looking at, it's integrating technology to supply power, reduce emissions, but also contribute to the economy. Typically, those are localized economies. If you consider the fuel that's involved with the supply of biomass or the fuel with waste, those economies are economies of the future that are really going to benefit the communities you know, into the future. If one considers landfills uh, on the African continent, there's a number of countries that we've visited that we can certainly help to integrate waste to energy solutions to, you know, reduce the, the landfills that are in those areas that contribute negatively towards life expectancy, but at the same time provide jobs in the form of, let's say, recycling with certain uh, plastics that are high in calorific value for argument's sake being a key component of the fuel for waste to energy projects. We can't talk about energy without talking about water. So water security for the continent is also crucial in the nature of projects that we do. And I think this also ties to the value system inherent in the Lacedi culture, which one of the values is Ubuntu. And Ubuntu is about not being able to do something without the assistance of others not being able to grow without the assistance of others. And I am because you are. So Ubuntu, in relation to the project portfolios that we look at, whether it be nuclear, whether it be renewables, whether it be emissions 
for existing thermal operations or gas operations is core to our, our DNA. And we hope to make a difference and hence the thought leadership that we do in industry is of critical importance for us as a brand to make sure you do the right thing even when it's the most difficult thing to do.